it's good to see you guys again. But you guys have had some, I guess, challenging, exciting days since we were there. This, ladies and gentlemen, is a, as you saw on that clip, uh, Merla was playing the violin. She's a professional violinist. Look at that hand. Can you get a close-up on that, sir? That is Merla Watson's hand. And how do you play a violin with a hand like that? <laughs> what happened, Merla? Very foolishly, I moved a whole big piano myself. My husband wasn't with me, and you know, the Lord always answers prayer to me in four ways. Yes, no, later, or do it yourself. And I thought it was a do it yourself -er, oh, yeah, and yeah. I didn't pray, and I moved it, and the whole thing collapsed. And I'm not talking about just the lid over the piano. I'm talking about the whole piano fell on my hand. These are my skin grafts to show you where all the nerves and the muscles fell out. Wow. Work. And every bone from here to here was not just broken, but utterly crushed and shattered. I had the number one hand surgeon in the world in Israel, and he said I would never, ever play a musical instrument again, but I am. I am. I played three months minus one day after my... In fact, I played my piano through my cast one month after the accident. And I had a, an incredible visitation in the middle of the night. And I woke up, Merv, and I said, I can't believe this. It was like somebody was caressing my hand. And all of a sudden, electricity went through my hand. I can hardly speak today. I've given this testimony so many times. <laughs> anyway, and um, I, it lasted for about 15 minutes. And I just started to laugh and cry at the same time. I said, look at my hand. My fingers that couldn't do more than this were suddenly going flip, flip. And then uh, at the end of one month, I could play my piano through my cast. At the end of two months, I forced my doctor to put me on like an ultrasound thing to, so I could see my hand he wasn't going to because he said, Marilla, this will take at least, um, you know, months if not years, and it'll be a miracle if anything ever happened. Little did he, little did he know that there was going to be a miracle. And so I'll run up until uh, three months minus one day after the accident, and I, we, it was moving day, and I had to, I couldn't move a thing. So I was of no you use didn't to anybody. The again. No, 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 no. no. I was no under I was under terrible music. pain. I can't I mean pain, what is your name? The only thing that would comfort me would be to write another song. So I wrote twenty six during that time. But anyway, um, so I I went to bed. I went to and I the Lord gave me a dream. And I dreamt that I was playing my violin at church in Jerusalem. And all the people in the dream were standing up and laughing and joking and, and shouting and dancing, everything that was um, permissible to do and uh, I uh, you know it wasn't true and so I woke up and my young son said to me he saw me sobbing he said well mother he said uh, I think that this is Jesus telling you that you're going to be healed very soon and I just tossed his hair and I said oh yeah someday and uh, so I lumbered downstairs and my son helped me and I, I just felt the Holy Spirit saying this is your day and so maybe I should leave the rest of it until just a little, because it's so fabulous. I've got to have a little bit more time with that one. But I got a healing like you wouldn't believe. You're going to believe it. <laughs> no, tell me now. <laughs> He'll tell you now? Okay. Tell me now. Okay. He said uh, he got my violin, and I sat down on a, on a sofa, and he put a, a cushion on my lap to prop up my arm because it just hung like a piece of meat. He put my hands around the, the violin. My fingers stuck straight up. And I said, it's going to hurt, but you bend those down. And so he did. And I just said, now leave me alone. I said, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, I command these fingers to play now to God's glory. And they played. And I did a concert. Ten days after. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. No. Oh, yes. My goodness. Now, that is a, let me ask you, because that's a, a tremendous testimony. Yes, it I is. I mean, you guys from Israel, I mean, your, your background is Jewish. No, no, we're not Jewish. At we're all? Not, no, not at all. We've had heart transplants by a Jewish <laughs> carpenter. <laughs> <laughs> he was a Jewish carpenter. Yeah, the only thing he had was heart transplants from Jewish, so we got him. And, and here you are, in the name of the Lord Jesus mm -hmm. Christ, yep. the Jewish Messiah, yep. saying, I demand that these fingers work to the glory That's of God. It. Yes. God likes to receive demands. <laughs> he has demand promises in that sense. Like he likes mm -hmm. to, it, it, that's very Jewish. You, you've seen Fiddle on the Roof. He, you know, why not make me a rich man? You know, why am I so poor? <laughs> why, why is his hand like this? And suddenly it wasn't. I mean, suddenly it was, it was just wonderful. I, I, uh, I'm amazed. Every time I hear the testimony, I'm more amazed all the time. I'm telling mm -hmm. you, that is absolutely spectacular. This book is available where? Is it just all around the... Uh, I think it'll probably be on the screen. We uh, have just, it's just come out this week. 
Um, and so it will be available for people to call in. Uh, we'll give them the addresses. Where I think maybe. All right, it's Catacomb Production. 